daily walk. Sometimes my walk could be one hour long. Sometimes it could be two hours long. Um, I just hop on the train. I get off at a random stop and I just walk around. This is how I find... I'm sorry. This is how I find new restaurants. This is how I find, like, different things. Um, I'm currently sitting in a random park. I find it very weird to be talking to a camera outside. But as a challenge for today, I'm just like, you know what? It's gloomy. Not a lot of people are going to be outside. Let's see if you can record yourself talking outside. And here I am. I'm doing it. Um, I can definitely say it's very, very awkward. Uh, people keep passing, and I just want to put the camera down or turn it off. Um, I'm going to try to keep recording if someone passes by. Uh, school isn't out yet, so there's no kids running around, which is a good thing. I could just sit here and record myself. Um, like I said earlier in the video, I uh, take walks daily. I, I walk every single day, rain or shine. I walk to i walk as a form of exercise because if i'm honest i don't like going to the gym um i don't like working out but i need to keep my body active i need to keep moving okay so i had to leave and walk down another block because it was getting really awkward people were just staring but not staring yeah. um I know you guys are probably hearing the sounds of the city, which eh, is annoying. Usually on my walks, I tend to wonder like what my next step is. Am I going in the right direction? Am I supposed to be where I'm supposed to be? Um, you know, just a, a whole bunch of random questions. And you always say, oh, maybe I'll find the answer. Well, not you, but I always say, huh, maybe I'll find the answer. Maybe I'll get that spark of uh, creativity on my walk around Brooklyn. I am so sorry if you cannot see my face or you cannot see my entire face. Number one is cold. Number two, it is weird holding up a camera, talking and walking. <sighs> this is the weirdest thing I've done thus far. And if you can hear the wind, I'm sorry. I'm wearing my mic because I know that the audio from my camera will be horrible. So this is what I'm doing. I am just venturing random neighborhoods. I'm just walking around random places. Oh, my arm. Oh, sorry. My arms are getting tired. I'm getting tired. It's time for me to hop on the train and go back home because I'm hungry. I need to eat my Vietnamese food. I should have gotten pho, but I would have got a sandwich instead, which I think, you know, would be better. Um, again, I'm just making sure that I don't have people who, you know, didn't ask to be on camera actually within the frame. It's the best way to find out more about your city. It's the best place to find more hole in the walls. And again, I'm sorry if I'm rambling. My arm hurts. Um, I'm cold and I'm hungry and I'm ready to go home. So I will make another video when I get inside. I know in my last video, I must have been making a lot of crazy faces. It's because I just got my braces put on and it was very painful um, I could actually feel the pressure on my teeth so I'm just still getting used to having braces at the age of 31 before I show you my favorite snacks I just want to make it clear that Boksu is not sponsoring this video all of the things that I purchased were done with my own coins with my own money I went to their authentic snacks um, portion of the website and I was able to get a black strawberry, 
Boksu white chocolate, which is one of their most popular items. It's always selling out. Tile candy black sesame crunch, which I think it's nice. And fun wari mijin mochi puffs. I hope that I said that correctly. I'm sorry if I didn't. So the first one is going to be the black strawberry, which is basically black chocolate. I hope this can focus. So this one, it looks, it's a strawberry. Um, this one is basically just chocolate covered strawberries or strawberry infused chocolate um it was okay it, it wasn't my favorite but uh, overall it tastes good the next item i'm going to show you is one of the most popular items it's always selling out and that is the white strawberry so this is what it looks like. Please forgive the lighting. And this item tastes like a strawberry milkshake or strawberry ice cream. And this is what it looks like. It looks like, you know, a plain strawberry. Um, I don't want to hold it up to the screen for too long because it might look weird to some people. So this product, like I said, tastes just like strawberry ice cream. I don't know how, because it looks like a freeze-dried strawberry, but it tastes like ice cream. So I, I, I understand why it's always sold out. The next product is the Funwari Majin Mochi Puffs. And this is what it looks like. Again, sorry for the lighting. Basically, it just looks like cheese puffs. So basically, these mochi puffs are like savory cotton candy. As soon as you put it in your mouth, you might only get like one little crunch and it completely dissolves. So it's, it's actually a really good snack. Um, in the packet, I think it comes six, six individually wrapped snacks, which is good. And lastly, I'm going to show you the Tile Candy Black Sesame Crunch. And this is a snack for all my sesame seed lovers. Um, it's actually pretty good. It's not too sweet and it has a nice crunch. Um, I ordered these before I had my braces put on so I have to be really careful when eating them. And those are the snacks that I ordered. So a lot of the snacks featured on this website come from small businesses throughout Japan. So when you either individually purchase the items or you get a box subscription, you're supporting a small business and you're also tasting snacks that you would not get in your own country. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below.